Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. 2025 is shaping up to be a fantastic year for fans of Mask. As reported in my earlier videos, the loyal subjects are bringing the toy line back with all new retro reissues of the originals. But for fans looking for more modernized versions of these classic vehicles and those that are closer to the cartoon depictions, you'll be happy to know that Ram and Toy are continuing their blockbuster line of mask homage vehicles, Makina. After the global sellout success of their red galving and recently revealed great white units, they are now ready to present their next new offering in the series. And this is something that has been teased since the start of the year, in fact. And it originally had the working title of Purple Ray, but has now been renamed officially as Mobula, a sleek and sinister looking sports car that transforms into a war-ready weaponized jet, which fans will immediately recognize as an updated homage to the classic Mask Manta. The Manta, a purple 1987 Nissan 300ZX that terrorizes the streets with a hidden arsenal of lethal missiles and lasers and has the ability to strike down its enemies from the skies with a secret reveal fighter jet mode. Now, Ramatoy have put up the official promotional images of the prototype, and as mentioned, this thing is no longer being called the Purple Ray, it's being called Morbula. Now, in the event that there's any of you out there who have not heard of the word Morbula before today, okay, can I get a show of hands? Well, you know, it is in fact another creature within the species of Manta Rays. So basically, you could say that this belongs in the same family as the Manta, but it's just a whole lot different, right? Now, the Mobula is still very much a work in progress, but in this update that they provided on their Facebook page, Raman have finalized all of the features that it will come with. And looking at what they've done with the Great White before this, you already know the basic vehicle mode for the Mobula is going to be impressive. The Mobula in its regular vehicle mode definitely looks like a 1987 Nissan Fairlady 300ZX. And as with all of the Makina vehicles, or mass vehicles, okay, there is no indication of what it's going to turn into. I am very impressed with what we're seeing here with the vehicle mode, and it is definitely an improvement over the Kana Manta vehicle, and certainly so much more cartoon accurate. Now with the Manta, of course, the vehicle came with driver Vanessa Warfield, who is, in fact, the only female agent on the Venom team. Vanessa came equipped with her whip mask. Now on the original figure, they had to make some concessions in order for the mask to be able to fit on and off. Okay, in this case, they basically had to give her a haircut, all right? Because in the original cartoon, Vanessa is supposed to have long hair. Back in the day, none of these figures had long hair, all right? Okay, since the majority of the rest of the team were all males. So Canatoys just decided to give all of the female agents short haircuts, all right? Problem solved. Now, with Ramon Toys release, they're going to give us two alternate head sculpts. One is her with the long hair, and the other one has her with just a helmeted head. Okay. So you don't actually have the opportunity to get the mask on her and then take it off, okay? Because you just have a separate head with the mask already attached to it. And I know that's depressing for some people, for sure. But this is still probably the best way to give us the most realistic and best looking interpretation for this character. Now, looking at the original Manta toy as a comparison, that thing had no doors that could open. Right? It had no windows, it had sections of the hood missing okay, or just not present right? because the only way that you could get the figure into the vehicle is by just straight dropping her into it. <laughs> that was the only way you could get the figure to be seated comfortably inside. So Kenner in a way took some liberties with the design but Raman has given us a fully functioning Nissan Fairlady okay, with their interpretation. This thing looks like an actual car. Okay, so it's got doors that can open, right? Actually open up, nothing is sealed. And the best part is you also have the option to remove the windows. Okay, I was not expecting that. You can remove the windows out to have this completely exposed look, which is very reminiscent of the original Manta. And if this is what you prefer, you can do exactly that. Now the front of the vehicle has a number of changes as well. With the original, you had the spring-loaded pop-up lasers and missile rack. Okay, this thing is very cool. Okay, it's a lot of fun. It's part of the reason why Mass Toys was just so fantastic because you could just get stuff popping up at a push of a button. Now for the Mobula, 
they've switched it up a bit by not having the lasers pop up in the front because that wasn't actually a cartoon accurate look. Instead, you get the option of having the headlights be raised. Okay, this is a very cool addition to the vehicle. The headlights can be raised up or closed. And also, while the original Manta had the missile rack, all the missiles were sculpted, they could not fire. But this time around, you have a fully functioning missile rack that will shoot out three spring-loaded missiles, okay? Definitely a very awesome addition that fans will appreciate. Although I do have to be honest, okay, while having missiles shoot out of a vehicle is still totally fun, having to look for those missiles, okay, after they've been sprayed out halfway across the room, okay, finding where the missiles have landed and stuff like that, that's just a headache, all right? But still, okay, it's an incredible addition to the vehicle that it now has spring-loaded firing missiles. And then when we look at the rest of the transformation gimmicks, the front of the wheels for the original Manta could be rotated 180 degrees to reveal the fins. And these did have lasers sculpted to them as well for added firepower. Now with the Mobula, you can reenact this same action feature. The wheels do rotate 180 degrees to reveal the fins. But the fins are now more cartoon accurate in the sense that they can be extended out. And in fact, they extend in two parts. Okay, so this is a much more cartoon accurate look for the vehicle. Now, as I covered in a previous video on the channel, the Mobula will come with a set of saw blades to be attached to the front of the vehicle. And these look suitably menacing, very accurate to the TV show. However, like I mentioned in the last video as well, these blades will not spin and neither are they designed to be tucked away underneath the vehicle or to be stashed any place else on the car itself. Okay, so this is just something that has to stay in a box somewhere until the time that you need to pull it out and display it with the vehicle. But you have to admit, okay, it's a cool display option. And until now, it's a look that's never been captured before in toy vehicle form. Now, one of the things that they've changed about the Mobula is the way that the rear wings are activated for flight mode. On the original Manta, the wings are spring activated at the press of a button to just slice their way out from underneath. And this to me was one of the standout features of the Manta, these giant set of wings that would just pop out from the sides like that. Okay, I love this gimmick. And also when you think about it, it's a self-defense mechanism for the vehicle. Say Vanessa is in a conversation with a guy that she doesn't like, she can just slice him straight out of the way, okay? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's right, okay, right? Piss off. However, none of these features were actually in the cartoon and the Mobula aims to give you a very accurate vehicle, okay? The one that you saw growing up on the classic TV show. So basically what happens now is that the back wings no longer slide out from underneath the vehicle. You rotate them from the rear wheels and they now extend out into three sections. So they're longer. And you can see that there's a lot of engineering that went into this one vehicle, okay? A lot of moving parts, a lot of things that are hidden to be revealed, okay? A lot of fun here. On the rear of the original Manta vehicle is where you'd find the stickering detail for the headlights and also the Nissan branding. And what you're supposed to do here is actually pull out this entire rear bumper section to reveal the thrusters and that's what we're going to do here and all you need to do is just pull out this section okay um if you can <laughs> what the hell is happening here okay why is this thing locked in so tightly like that okay let me just try to just yank it out if i can um <laughs> wow you know did this thing get jammed up in there or something let's try it again yeah it's like really wedged in there super tight okay there all right <laughs> It's out. Man, what was that all about? Okay, so you've got the thrusters revealed, right, finally. Okay, so just pull out this whole section manually. And for the Mobula, Ram and Toy are going in a completely different direction. This whole rear section will be spring activated to open at the press of a button. Okay, from what I understand, just press a button. This whole rear section will open up and reveal the thrusters within. So much better, guys. <laughs> Okay, and then we get down to the ejector seat. So for the original Manta, this was located on the passenger side and this was on the right side of the vehicle. Depending on which country you're driving in, the Manta obviously built for American roads. So the driver is on the left-hand side. So pressing this button will cause the passenger seat to fall out of the vehicle, okay? Like straight out in an attempt to escape. Okay, maybe the vehicle is coming under fire, stuff like that. 
And the ejector seat itself is detailed. It's got a seat belt. It's got lasers here on the sides, if you notice. However, I could never really understand why it was the passenger that gets to escape and not the driver, all right? Because, you know, it's a bit hard for the driver to hop on over to the passenger side in the event of an emergency just to escape, right? However, it works great if she's in the car having an argument with her partner and just decides to eject the guy. <laughs> so long! <laughs> yeah, okay, so in that sense, it works great. Now for the Mobula, Ram and Toy have addressed this issue by making both the passenger and the driver's seats removable from the vehicle. Okay, so both of them can escape in case the vehicle is taking heavy fire and is about to be shot out of the sky. And if you notice, the seats themselves have these side wings that can be extended out to form wings. Okay, so there is some engineering here, a lot of great detail. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of the incoming Ramontoy Makina Mobula. Also, I enjoyed sharing with you guys another throwback look at the classic Mass Manta. Let me know what you guys think of all this in the comment section. I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content right here. Take care there.